Hey, good afternoon, good day. We're going to take a few minutes today to show you how to install the catches for the MS3C light ambulance stretcher line. The process is extremely simple. There's actually two pieces and three holes. This is called the antler. This goes at the head end of the stretcher, and this is the latch that goes at the foot end of the stretcher. This actually compresses and allows you to slide forward and backwards and also pivot down when the unit is being pulled out of the vehicle. So I'm going to take a few moments. I'm going to go ahead and install it. You can see how it's done. And then we're going to put the stretcher back on so you see how the unit operates once it's inside the vehicle. So the entire process takes just a couple of minutes. Once you uh, mark the holes, you pre-drill them. Now for the purposes of this demonstration, we use uh, screws. Uh, but uh, this unit actually comes with bolts and nuts, and that's what you use to lock the uh, latches into place. So once this is in place, you can measure off or to place the uh, latch unit. Latch unit operates very easily. All you do is squeeze the lever, bring it up, and in the same motion, slide it up and let go. Now it is locked in place, and the stretcher cannot move backwards and that unit keeps it from moving forwards. Again, to release, you squeeze the lever, push it all the way back and lower and allow the stretcher to move off out of the vehicle. That's it. The stretcher is now loaded, it's locked in place. You can either go backwards or forwards, and you're safe to travel. Should you have any questions, please contact us at msdc.co. Otherwise, we appreciate you watching, and have a wonderful day.